considering our integration, we are going to see that uh, this is another type that we need to understand in uh, our simplification. We had uh, our integrals. Let us consider uh, that the integral of one over x, which is a basic part that I need you to get it from. All right. We actually understand that we cannot integrate something like this x to the exponent of negative one with respect to x. For the consideration that for a trigonometric function, as you are integrating, we know that you are supposed to add a one, then we divide by the new exponent. So it's supposed to be something like this. If we integrate, it's supposed to be x to the exponent of negative one plus a one over negative one plus one, which does not exist in our mathematics. So as we understand that the denominator is not supposed to be equivalent to zero, this part does not exist. So we'll see that whenever you are given the integral of one over x, which is actually exactly the same thing as x to the exponent of a negative one. So when you take this, you're gonna take it to the reverse of what we had from the derivative. The derivative with respect to x of the lean of x, we saw that it gave us one over x. So that means, remember, our integration is the reverse. So meaning to say, if I am to integrate this, I'm going to have the reverse, which is the lean of x. So that's the integral of one over x with respect to x is going to give us what? The lean of x plus the constant of integration. So this is the major part that you actually need to understand in your simplification. You need to understand this part. How to integrate each part with respect to x. That's one over x is gonna give us lean x plus a constant c. But let us consider this part that we are having now. Let's, let us say, let us just consider to say, we've got the integral of one over two x plus three with respect to x, the integral of one over x uh, plus four with respect to x. These are some of the integrals that we do not like consider, but we see these in our simplification. Consider that maybe you are working with a partial fraction, all right? We saw that. You're working with a partial fraction, then you have expressed your numbers or whatever that you have as a partial fraction. Of course, something like this, three over two x plus one. Maybe there's another one, which is minus two over x plus three. The moment you get to these, you are now to integrate each and every part. You're supposed to integrate, but look what you have. You're now back to this format. So it is something that is very, very important in our simplification. So how do we integrate? That's the question. All right, whenever we are given this, we are going to simply use this formula, the, integ the integral of one over ax plus b with respect to x is equal to one over a, take note, one over a, the lean of ax plus b. So this is the formula that you're gonna uh, apply in your integrals. So what am I trying to say here is uh, this ax plus b is a linear expression. Take note, this is a linear expression here, x. It's not x squared. It is not x squared. It's not x to the exponent of three. It's not x to the exponent of four. It's a linear expression. When it is something like that, it's something else. It's something else. We are no longer, we are no longer using this, no. This will be totally wrong. So what is it that we have here? Let us consider this in our simplification. If I am simply given, let us say I'm given something of this nature. Okay, the integral of one over, let us just take, start with a simpler term, two x plus three with respect to x. So in this case, we've got a fraction of this exact nature that we have there. So this is simply going to give us one over a, where a is the coefficient of x. What is affecting x there is a two. So this is one over two, the lean of ax plus b, which is your linear expression as it is. That is two x plus three plus the constant of integration you are done. So if we take this, because in most cases, that is what we have, but it does not mean that if I'm given something direct like this, this does not apply. No, it is the same thing. One over, maybe it's just x minus three with respect to x. The a that we took about, there is a number there, which is what? Which is a, which is one. 
So that means in this case, I was going to have one over one, of which one over one is just what? It's just a one. So there's no effect there. I'm just going to have the lean of what? The lean of x minus three plus c, which is the most, uh, uh, the most integral that we are used to. Most of us, we are used to that. That is, uh, if I just see one over x, I just integrate that straightforward. It's fine. But it was something that was actually taken here. So if I know this, I can integrate this. I can also integrate this where I am having a number which is two or three or whatever number that I have, even a negative. The presentation, this one, take note of the presentation. Take note of the presentation because this same presentation that we are given here, this same presentation here, they can just put it in a way of trying to confuse us. The integral of one over, we are given there, this is three plus two X with respect to X. It, we, we haven't changed anything. This is the same thing that we have though. Same thing, that's the same thing that we have. Three plus this. They can give us the integral of one over maybe it's two minus five X with respect to X. We still have the same linear expression. What is important is our AX, AX. The constant on the other part, are we seeing that? Are you able to locate your constant? So the constant in this case, that's a two. So that's one over A, that's one over two, which is the same thing as this, what we had. Exactly what we had before, one over A, just like the same thing, one over two, the lean of what, three plus two X. So not, nothing has changed there. Nothing has changed. What are we having in this case? What is representing A, the part that is affect the coefficient of X? That's our A, the coefficient of X is the most important part which is a negative five. So that's one over a negative five, the lean of what? Two minus five X plus C, just like that. So we can write this as negative one over five. Uh, that is the lean of two minus five X plus C, just like that, you're done. So these integrals, they are very, very important. Whenever you're integrating, this is very, very important for you to consider. It is very, very important for you to have into your, your consideration whether I am given this with another number. It's not like always I'm just going to have a one. No, it can give us a certain numbers. Maybe we are given something like this. Uh, integrate, uh, this is 10, everything over uh, 2x plus 5 with respect to x. So it is still one of the same thing. The 10 is a constant. So remember, 10 can be taken out of the integral. It's a constant. So if you do not understand that, you can just take it outside of the integral. This is 10 over 1. So it's just 10 over 1 like that. Just like what we have. So it's just a 10. That was 10 over 1 is 10. The integral of what? We have removed the 10 over 1 out. So remaining with 1 over 2x plus 5. So this is what you're going to integrate with respect to x. So that simply means I have got a 10 in this case, which is 10 over one, multiply to what? This integral, where we say it's gonna be one over a, our a, the coefficient of x. So that's one over two, lean ax plus b, which is lean two x plus, plus five. So that's what we have there. So everything that we have plus the cost of integration. So this simply means if I multiply this part uh, 10, times one over two, that is going to give us what? Five, so this is five, the lean of two X plus five, plus the constant of integration, just like that. So you need to work with more questions, just try to revise as much as you can. Uh, you see that this is exactly what you have. So uh, let us meet in an, uh, our next class, but just also try to integrate this seven over three uh, X plus one with respect to X. And also they can even give you the limits. Let's say there's a four and a one. What are you going to have at the end? So you simply see that these are the integrals that are your basics. You just have to integrate there. Then whatever that you get is your final answer. Uh, you substitute your limits. So I want you to try that so that we'll talk, uh, I mean, we'll have uh, more 
on it in our next class. But for now, that's it, guys. From Mesoan African Motives, till we meet again.